India is at a turning point with its ambitious Kaveri jet engine project, a homegrown effort that has faced decades of challenges but now holds renewed promise with a bold new proposal. The Gas Turbine Research Establishment, part of the Defence Research and Development Organisation, is pushing to use two Su-30 MKI fighter aircraft as flying test beds to breathe life into this long-delayed initiative. The Kaveri, originally designed to power the HAL Tejas light combat aircraft, was meant to deliver a powerful thrust. However, by 2008, it fell short, producing significantly less power, around 48.5 kN in high-altitude tests, leading to its separation from the Tejas program. This forced reliance on imported engines like the GEF-404, a setback that highlighted the technical and financial hurdles of indigenous aerospace development. The new proposal marks a strategic shift to overcome these past failures by converting two Su-30 MKI jets, robust twin-engine fighters already in service with the Indian Air Force, into FTBs. The plan aims to test and validate indigenous Kaveri components in real flight conditions. These aircraft will be fitted with additional instrumentation to monitor performance, allowing engineers to collect critical data safely and efficiently. The approach follows a staircase methodology, starting with limited ground testing of individual parts, then scaling up to full flight evaluations. This process incorporates failure modes and effects analysis, FMEA, a systematic way to identify potential failures and address them early, ensuring the engine's reliability. This mirrors modern aerospace practices, such as those used in the US F-22 program, where iterative FTB testing shaved up to 30% of certification timelines. The goal is to accelerate certification, potentially bringing the Kaveri back on track for future aircraft like the Tejas MK2 or the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft. This proposal, however, is not without its challenges. Its success depends heavily on government approval and the Indian Air Force's willingness to allocate the Su-30 MKIs, a resource decision complicated by competing priorities. The defense budget, pegged at $66 billion in 2020-2021, leans heavily toward maintaining existing fleets rather than investing in risky research and development projects. This contrasts sharply with China, which has poured over $25 billion into engine development over the past decade, fueling advancements like the WS-10 and WS-15 engines for its J-20 stealth fighter. India's limited R&D funding, less than 5% of its defence budget, has left gaps in testing infrastructure and skilled manpower, making the Kaveri's journey even tougher. The Su-30 MKI, a critical asset for the Air Force, is a precious resource, and diverting even two for experimental use could spark debate about operational readiness, especially amid regional tensions. Despite these hurdles, the stakes are high. The Kaveri's revival could slash India's reliance on foreign suppliers, saving billions in import costs and bolstering national security. The engine's current derivative, the Kaveri Derivative Engine, KDE, has shown promise with a dry thrust of 48 to 51 kN, tested extensively on the ground and recently in flight with Russian support. Plans are afoot to enhance it with an afterburner to reach 80 kN, a more powerful Kaveri 2.0, aiming for 90 to 110 kN, could eventually power next-generation fighters aligning with the country's self-reliance vision. Public enthusiasm is palpable, with many seeing this as a chance to reclaim a project that once symbolized India's aerospace dreams. Yet, the road ahead requires more than technical ingenuity, it demands political will and financial muscle. The government must weigh the short-term costs against the long-term gains, while the Air Force must balance its operational needs with the promise of a homegrown engine. If this proposal succeeds, the Kaveri could transform India's defence landscape, proving that with persistence and innovation, the country can soar on its own wings. The question remains, will the necessary support materialise to turn this vision into a reality, or will it remain another chapter in a story of unrealised potential?